Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you need to seek some uh, counseling or some advice from somebody to get you through this heartbreak that you have gone through. So you've gone through a very, very difficult heartbreak situation and it looks like you need to seek some counseling advice to get over it. There looks like there's gifts of love coming in for you, so somebody could be making some kind of offer to you. Uh, so, uh, you know, you need to be positive that things are going to turn uh, around for you and it's going to get better. You are dealing with a lot of anger and disappointment from a past relationship. There's a lot of clouds you can see in that situation. But this was an end of a cycle. This was the completion of a karmic cycle that you went through. Now it looks like a new relationship coming in for you. So there's that gifts of love coming in. There's also the infatuation card coming in. So it seems like there's somebody that you are interested in and uh, they might be sending you gifts of love over there and it's a new love that's beginning. So there's a new cycle that is coming in for you. Uh, so you need to let go of the past and move forward. So those are the energies for that two weeks, those two weeks. So I'm using the Romantic Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so you are getting together with old friends. Uh, it looks like you are reviewing the past a lot. Maybe you're thinking about the past. Maybe you are romanticizing the past a little bit too much. This could also be that, you know, you're getting together with old friends and family or people that are supportive of you. Um, and uh, they're giving you advice. Uh, and they're, you know, showing you a good time, trying to get you through a difficult situation. You've got that six of cups over there. So, you know, um, getting together with old friends over there, uh, maybe socializing a lot more, uh, you know, trying to get through uh, whatever's been going on. This could also be an offer coming in from somebody that you used to know in the past. Uh, you can see there's those cups over there. And, uh, you know, you're uh, reconnecting with this person, it seems. <coughs> So what's going on with you? Uh, you've got that two of coins over there and that's crossed uh, by the six of rods. So it seems like you were in a relationship. Uh, you know, you were trying to pursue your career and maybe the person that you were with, um, you know, prevented you from doing that. Um, it seems like, you know, they got in between you and, uh, you know, they were trying to take control or trying to um, manipulate you in a sense. You can see this little boy preventing this girl from uh, moving forward. So maybe they brought your career to an end um, because of their intervention or maybe that relationship, uh, you know, was something that didn't allow you to p pursue your career. You've got that crossed by the Six of Rods. So you can see you felt very, very trapped within this relationship. Even though it seemed to be a good relationship, you still wanted your freedom. But, uh, you know, whatever um, uh, the relationship in itself, uh, you know, seems to have uh, kept you in a little bit of a cage. You've got this bird in the cage over there. And even though you were moving forward, it seemed like, you know, you felt very, very trapped within that relationship, as though you had no more control. It seems like you had given up your control within that relationship. So in the past year, it seems like you have been trying to pursue your career. You've got this knight of ro uh, coins over here where you've been working very hard at your career and you've been trying to get some kind of financial independence as well. Um, you've got the judgment card over here, um, or rather the justice card over here, uh, which is showing that you've been through some kind of legal situation. So there's been a divorce that has happened and, uh, you know, it's done and dusted. It seems like a judgment has been passed. So it seems like you left this relationship because you were feeling rather trapped within it. Now, what's in your mind is you're trying to, uh, you know, move forward in a new relationship. Um, you may have had uh, a lot of financial de dependence on this p uh, previous person uh, that you were involved in because you've got this eight of coins over here. Uh, so you have been working 
uh, and learning as well on the job with this eight of coins. But also, you uh, it seems like the person that you were with, it, um, you know, you relied very heavily on them for financial support. And it seems like it was a very, very toxic relationship that you were involved in. You've got the ego, the devil card over here that is showing that, you know, you were really chained to this relationship. This person seemed to be very controlling, controlling the way you uh, thought. They did it, they, you know, they focused all their attentions on trying to control your every single move. And that had made you very really disempowered. So even though it seemed to the outside world that, you know, you were somebody that was independent, um, they were very, very controlling in that situation. And you're coming out of that particular situation. But there's still a lot of negativity. Now, you're dealing with a lot of, um, you know, fighting um, that kind of uh, negative uh, energies going on. Maybe this person that you were with uh, was pursuing other people as well. So they may have not been exclusive in that particular relationship. And there was a lot of drama, a lot of power struggle. Um, and, you know, it seems like they were getting their kicks from somewhere else you know they were getting their uh, um, uh, whatever they wanted from outside of the relationship and doing it behind your back they're pretending that they were in love with you but really they were pursuing other people so um what people saw around you was a rather stable relationship. They, they saw this marriage and they thought it was happy and they thought it was, you know, everything uh, a marriage should be. So maybe this was not the case. Uh, although it appeared to be a, a, a lot of stability within that relationship, uh, this seems to be not the case. There seems to be a lot of control issues because you've got that devil card right next to the marriage card. So you were very, very controlled, even though everybody else thought that, uh, you know, you were... Um, it was a happy marriage, and it seems like it wasn't. So whatever that relationship, whatever that commitment was, there was a lot of control issues going on over here. Now, there's a loss that you went through. There might have been a financial loss because of this divorce uh, that you went through. Uh, and you can see, again, you were very, very codependent on this particular person. And you are worried. You are worried now that if you get into a new relationship, you will end up being codependent. You can see this woman's in this person's arms, and uh, you see she's in green, and green signifying money. So you were quite financially dependent on this person. And as soon as this relationship has ended, it seems like that financial dependence um, has caused a lot of loss uh, once this person has removed uh, their financial support. You've got the chariot, and this is moving on from this situation. So that relationship that you were, it seems to have been a long-term relationship, and you have... You had taken a back seat. You can see again this person is in control of this cart and this woman is merely sitting behind, um, you know, maybe doing all the work in the background while the, the other person is controlling everything there. So it looks like you're going to be moving on. You might even be doing a home move as well. You're moving on from this relationship. You and this person are going your separate ways. You seem to have separate interests. Maybe one of you have been feeling very trapped within that relationship, but you are doing things uh, maybe you're not even communicating with each other. You've got this eight of rods over here. So this is also moving away. Uh, this is the card of movement. And it seems like, you know, you are going to be pursuing your own interests and they are pursuing their own interests, interests. And there's not even a sexual attraction there anymore. So it looks like, you know, there's a movement away and it looks like you all are not interested in any in each other anymore. Uh, it seems like there's a new offer coming in for you. There is, uh, this is the four of cups, some kind of offer coming in for you. Now, this could be an offer of a new relationship uh, and you're still uh, you know trying to get over the old relationship uh, and you're still hiding your feelings this woman's wearing a mask over here and she's got a really big hat so she's doing a lot of thinking about what is happening there's some communications coming in but there's certainly an offer for a new relationship coming in for you there and so some kind of social invitation so you are getting over this particular relationship in which you were quite codependent, you're still going through a period where you're feeling very negative, maybe feeling very disempowered uh, because you were quite manipulated within that relationship, but you are now starting to get away and move on. With this um, six of rods, it seems like you, know, you are going to be uh, victorious in whatever you decide to do, the card of victory. So, uh, you know, it looks like you want to focus more on your career and you really do, you're not interested in actually pursuing any new relationship. Um, but there seems to be some kind of offer that does come in for you. So I'm just going to draw some cards from oops, the um, Archangel Power Tarot. So 
So if there's a decision that you have to make, so release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. So there you are, that bird being released from that cage. So you are coming out of a difficult situation in which you were very, very trapped. You can see in this particular card over here, the Six of Rods, there's that bird in the cage over there. So you are being released from that particular situation. And you need to make a decision to move on right now uh, and stop worrying about things. You've got the Seven of Ariel over here, which says you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for the next endeavor. So this is a card it's the Seven of Pentacles. You need to invest in yourself now and follow your own interests. Uh, and uh, that will pay off for you. That will be a wise investment. You've got the Six of Raphael over here. So embrace your inner child, new friends, rekindled relationships, children and childhood. So this is like the Six of Cups. So it looks like there might be some offer coming in from somebody that you used to know in the past. Um, and, you know, you are also getting together with uh, friends from the past as well. So it looks like, you know, meeting uh, up with old friends, but this is going to open the door for a new uh, beginning, a new start um, with, uh, with somebody. It's going to maybe bring in this new offer. Uh, somebody from the past returns makes an offer. The Six of Raphael is also about an offer being made to you from somebody that you used to know in the past. You can see this little boy making uh, uh, an offer to this mermaid here, giving her a flower. So there's somebody that you knew in the past that's going to re-emerge. And this is going, you could probably meet this person through family or friends, somebody you used to know. And it looks like they make some kind of offer for you to you for a new, brand new beginning, a new relationship. So you're getting over that uh, relationship in which you were very, very much controlled uh, and a very, very toxic codependent relationship and you are now starting to move forward into something better and it looks like a new offer is coming in for you. You're getting over all the drama uh, as well. Uh, so there was a lot of drama and a lot of problems that happened over there, a lot of power struggle going on over there. Uh, but you are now coming back into your own and a new offer will be coming in for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.